So look at that. Lucky Calgary. They got last place and they got to actually stay in first overall. Detroit and Los Angeles both hop up. Vancouver gets pushed back. What else is new? Uh, Pittsburgh, Toronto, all of them get pushed back. Well, Toronto had Arizona's pick. Interesting. All right. Well, there we have it. Uh, I don't need to do that there. And, uh, man. Let's see who retired. Maybe Panarin retired. Goes out with a cup victory. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> but Kucherov retires. And he was in Calgary. Ooh, rip. Uh, Taylor Hall also retires. Oh, wow. He was done. Kuznetsov also done. Skinner. Dow. Ooh. I mean, who? I don't know who that is. Uh, Tatar. Oh, Galchenyuk retires. That sucks for the Ducks, man. He could have easily played another year or two in, like, a good position. Second, third line. I mean, pretty good. Um, Tyler Bertuzzi. Single. Wow, look at the names retiring now, Hayes. <laughs> but uh, everyone pretty much meant to retire, I would say. Besides Galchenyuk. He was kind of the only one there who could have still kept playing there. But you guys can see most of the names. And we're into the free agency area. All right. On to goalies now. Uh, Hellebuck, Corpusalo, Riddick. Those are really the main ones. Usually, yeah, There's. it's very rare you see a goalie retire when he still could play. Uh, Corpus <laughs> Those numbers aren't too good, huh? Hello, Buck is the only one with decent numbers, but that goal is against. All right, anyway. Uh, don't freeze. I think it's loading, hopefully. Yeah, okay. Uh, Ghost Despair becomes a coach. Uh, okay, we got coach retirements here. Didn't look like anyone became scouts. All right, good. No, None of our coaches retired. Good. We've had, we had, it's like two years in a row where we had coaches retiring. That was annoying. All right. Yeah, so we know about Rawlings. Obviously, you're not going to get him. No way Calgary passes on Landon Rawlings. And we don't need any of these guys. Obviously. So, we got some interviews here. Possible high elite goaltender. Any medium elite steals? No, just go. <laughs> Three friggin' goalie. Oh, wait. Wow. Two medium elite steals. Oh, man. I, I remember this guy. He was a friggin' grinder. Now we have another OFD. Five-year ETA, an outlaw with five-year ETA, and a gym. Cycle pinch, yeah. Yeah, so we can pick up those two guys, most likely. Um, let's see about low elites, if we got any more of those looked at. Uh, just two, I think I have them both pinned. No, I just have one pin. All right, so we got a new one. Another freaking, they're all defensemen. <laughs> Bunch of defensemen this year. This guy is probably going to be a low elite, so I'll pin him, but yet again, another defenseman. Another defenseman. I'll pin them just because I want to keep an eye on But look how many freaking defensemen there are. Looks like a strong defensive draft here. We could get these two guys as player types. I think I will. Do I need it? What other info do I need? Player type, personality. Yeah, pretty much. Just that. We'll do player type personality for these guys. And I think I, oh, what, I'll just do ETA anyway. I forget if I had that. I probably, I think it was four years, but who cares? What else am I going to ask him? The strengths and weaknesses are just so, they're so vanilla. All right, so he's a sniper. And not a two-way guy. That's why, anytime it shows two-way, with it could go like a lot of different directions. He could be two-way, he could go like playmaker, or he can go sniper. That's usually what I see when it's like a two-way with like pretty near accurate Scouting could go like one of three ways, but pretty decent roll around of personality for him. Let's interview Lutzer here. Uh, same thing. What do we need? We have his ETA. It's actually better, but whatever. When I'm already here, I just, I just I'll just ask him anyway. Because <laughs> why the hell not? It hurries up the interview anyway. It's all about speed, baby. Got to go fast. If you're not first, you're last. Mm, oh, another sniper. Okay, so they're both snipers. Which isn't too bad, because we kind of needed one of those. I mean, uh, we're almost done with this. I'll, I might even continue this one on my own. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Personality-wise, well-rounded. Okay, so they're both well-rounded snipers, but this guy had better ETA. Like, he has three-year ETA as opposed to the other guy with four, which is interesting. It might be very close to overall, but this guy's also ranked further back in the draft, which is curious. Yeah, he's got three-year ETA. Wow, flurry. Can I move up? Thank you. Has four year ETA. Yeah, it's weird. All right, well, oh, hello, grinder. 
<laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba, let's see. What do we want? Could interview like one more dude, but what the hell's the point? I don't really know what else. Let me go to my pins here. Is there anyone I need any info on? Probably not. I might look for an unknown in a good area then to see if we can get a... Yeah, all of our pins are... Oh, we could do this guy and see if he... Maybe get lucky and get more info. Or we could do this guy. We do need a bit more info on him. This guy's way further back, so we'll take him anyway, because what else is going to be there? But it'd be nice to get more info on this guy, even though he's yet another defenseman. Curious to see if he is actually an enforcer defenseman. Yeah, so we'll do, yeah, we pretty much need... All right, well, I guess we'll do this guy for the last interview. So we'll do ETA and play style. Need a few seasons, so three year. That's okay. Three year ETA. That's that should be good. Stay at home. Okay, yeah. No, he's gonna be DFD. <laughs> that usually can happen when it, when you show enforcer. It'll either be enforcer or uh, DFD, and usually a DFD. Pretty rare to find enforcers. And personality wise, another well rounded guy. If we're very, very lucky, we'll get a tiny bit more of scouting on him, but I highly doubt it. It's incredibly rare you actually fill someone up. Like, if they have no info, you'll get, like, one or two ticks, but yeah, it's very rare. But this guy's a DFD. Alright, well, that's it. And now we get to enjoy looking at ourselves as the cup winners, supplanting, every, well... We kept it in the West, but we beat, we beat Boston, who had a tremendous year and a tremendous playoff run until they met us. So there we are. We also won the Presidents. Yeah, that's right. We won the Presidents, too. So we got three of the team trophies. The only three we could possibly get. Three for three, baby. Let's go. And individuals, Connor McDavid with the Art Ross again. That's three years in a row. Hart went to Matsumoto, though. Uh, Merkley got... Oh, Merkley. What? They gave Merkley the Norris. Oh, ouch. Okay. I was not expecting that. Okay. Uh, Braden Point with the Lady Bing, Lacerte with the Calder, Genther with the Con Smythe, hell yeah, Vesna went to, oh really, yeah, oh yeah, that's right, Vesna went to Gustafsson, wow, he got both of them, but he's, oh wait, oh no, 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 yeah, 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 I, anyway, I thought he split it, but he didn't, um, Slavin got the Masterton, Dallas's coach got the Jack Adams, yeah, he should've, what the hell were they doing in the conference finals, man, and they, they, they took us to freaking seven, dude, hell yeah, uh, Selkie, Mogilny, man, so he's kind of become, yeah, he's like the new Kopitar, Ryan O'Reilly type dude. Uh, Matsumoto with the Ted Lindsay and the Maurice Richard, so hell yeah, good job, Matsumoto. Absolute beast. Alright, and our AHL didn't win the Calder, that's alright, we've never won it. Okay, so into the draft we go. Um... There's no way, yeah, obviously no way we move up. There's no reason to do that. I mean, that power forward would have been nice and all, but there we are. Let's see what's going on here. If we want to move around at all, I might just kind of draft in place. Yeah, because there's no... I got that guy, but what's his ETA? Oh, man, one year ETA. That's pretty good. Shoot pinch, though. No. That's not ideal for our system. This guy is maybe a cycle pinch. And we could probably grab him with our pick. Even though he's another righty. Whatever. He could fill into the top six, maybe. So probably just draft in place right there. Where are all our pins here? What do we want to grab? We got... I don't know. If, I don't even know if we have a second. There's elite goalies everywhere we can snag. There's that. Oh, yeah, those medium elites. Those guys are coming in, like, that fourth round. Uh, where's the other medium elite? There he is. Yeah. 110 and 127. That's really what we want to make sure we have picks for. Is the 110 and the 127. Because that's those are ridiculous steals. We got the 96 and the 128. So we're probably going to want to move up. We have no second. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's, not, it's 32, not 31. Yeah, so we're actually going to probably miss out on that low elite unless we move up. Okay. Well, we do have Keeling. 
But why, do we really want to maneuver that much? We could trade Keeling at any point. We might want to wait and hold. Yeah, probably want to hold on to his value. Just because we don't necessarily have to trade him right now. Yeah, we don't have to. I'd rather get players for him than like do a weird move up for pick stuff. Oh yeah, that sucks. We're not going to be able to get that dude. Well, most likely not going to be able to. We're going to have to still move the other thing up. Can I... I mean, where's the closest... Ah, oh, man, none of those guys want to give their picks. I'd have to move the 26 to get that guy. I don't know if that's insanely worth it. I guess we'll see what we have. They're not going to want our 31. Or 32, whatever. Oh, man, that's... Yeah, that's pretty pretty big jump in value. For being what it is. The hell is Shane Wright a low elite for now? What? <laughs> Wasn't he like a low franchise? Whatever. Any junk? Yeah, we have a bunch of junk here. I doubt there'll be enough. Even though it's quite... Okay, wait a sec. Even though it's quite close to fair value, he says. Maybe. Any other junkers? 21, 73. Gr oh, nope. <laughs> Can't do it. I could throw in someone that they want here. Articala. Ooh, kind of like that. I could throw Samsonov in. I'm not really using him anymore. Oh my god, don't do this. Don't 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 make him pick. Throw in one more quick. Lysak, he's not going anywhere. Quick! Before Ah god damn it. Fuck you. Alright, it's gonna kick us out anyway. Let's watch Calgary get that amazing guy. Oh, I'll just let him. There are they Excuse me? Okay, they fucking passed on the franchise. Really? Okay, hold up, hold up. Hey. Oh, look. Oh, DeMeo jumped. Or maybe that's stack growth. Maybe he didn't jump. Maybe that's stack growth. Ludeman is technically his. Oh, man. Hold up. I mean, now, I'm, now I want it. What if he freaking gets passed on again? Not enough. Plus, they'd have too many players. I could throw in DeMeo here still. It's freaking risky to do, but... Ludeman is the future. And he should jump up. As he's been growing very well, but it's, it's still risky. He's an 86 right now, but I'm pretty sure that's some stat growth. Uh, we'd still need to take some stuff back here. Like, um, you know, give me this guy. He's kind of neat. I don't know if we'll get much better, but whatever. We're just looking for a per perhaps a backup out of him. Um, we need one more player, huh? Yeah. I don't want to spend too much time here. What are you? Four. I should just take someone back that they want to give up, probably. Let's throw Pollock in there. Is this worth? <laughs> Maybe. That's not gonna work. All right, nope. I'm not doing it then. If he drops one more, then obviously I'll go for it, but I doubt he does. Yeah, no. Oh, well. Um, there he is, Landon Rawlings. I can't believe Calgary passed on him. I wanted to go for that, but it wasn't going to work. They were listed as a seller. He wasn't... If he... Damn it, man. If only. If only he dropped one more. We could have 100% got him. I can't believe Calgary passed on the franchise. Friggin' idiots, man. But uh, Detroit gets him. Landon Rawlings, and he's pretty, pretty stupid. He's already obviously got a great shot. He's, yeah, pretty sick. Oh, well. Didn't work out for us. 
And there's really no reason to move up for any one of these guys. We need needed a power forward. Don't need two-way centers. Don't need a winger playmaker. It is what it is, though. I would have had to done so much to get that guy. All right, probably just move up to our pick. Let's. I'll just do that, and then I'll I'll scroll back, and we'll see what's there. Who all went and how good they are. Yeah, there's the winger playmaker, the two way forward centers, and then yeah, no no elite steals by the looks of it here. Just all top sixes. Oh, there's a low. There yeah, oh, that's right. That's one of the low elites. Finley. Oh wait, did I even know? About, I don't know. I don't know if I knew about him. And we got. Oh wait. Wait, 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 wait. What about that guy at 31? Is that the one that went? Oh, no. He's, he actually lasted. Okay. I was just going to... Oh, yeah. I was actually... <laughs> I forgot. I was going to move up for Anheims. Well, I don't have to now. So, suck it. I actually get Tristan Dillon here. Which is which is good because... Oh, yeah. The other guy was the, uh, was the shoot pinch guy, wasn't he? Yeah, let's grab Tristan Dillon here. Sure. Let's see how good he is. 64. Low elite. Not amazing, but... 17. Not too shabby. All right, now we don't have anything in the second round. We'll probably hold on to that. I'm going to save Keeling and DeMeo's value just because we're likely, I mean, we're going to move for second line stuff. That's that's still kind of where our weakness is. We're probably going to be able to sign Gaudreau, but I'm thinking about the power forward replacement for Greenway still. Obviously, Landon Rawlings would have been nice, but here's the thing. Matsumoto can't really play second line. He gets away on the first line because other people boost the chemistry up. And, yeah. The other guy wasn't exceptionally needed. Anyway. Um, should I just go up to our pick? We still need to move up for that other guy. But, yeah. Let's probably just move up. We're going to miss out on some 10 D. Or, you know what? We can maybe move some stuff for some earlier picks. DeMeo's value will cover pretty much anything for the second line. Maybe we want to use Keeling here for some seconds. Let me see. The seconds, thirds, stuff like that. And we can grit. With, with how this draft is, we will get our value back, essentially. So, I mean, we could even get it in goalies, right? We got a guy at 63 here. We don't have, we have a 128, which we'll have to move up. But we have the 90s something. Yeah, a bunch of freaking goalies here. But we're mainly looking to get these. Yeah, I mean, if I get like a couple, like a second and a very early third, I'm we might be able to do something here. Like someone like... Like New York here. They got a 34. And then the next pick should be 60. Yeah, we can we can get a ton of value for this. If we play our cards right. Oh, they have two seconds. That one's a lot of value. That one almost covers Keeling. Oh, 80. Ooh, that's what? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm mad. Am I? Oh, it's Vancouver's. That's why. <laughs> I'm like, what? I could go for maybe two seconds. I highly doubt it. Even though they want to give it up. They don't want Keeling. And yeah, that value is not enough, even though Keeling's incredible. Yeah, damn, that could have that could have been really good because we could have replaced his value by a really really good amount. I mean, I could go. I mean, we could st we can still sort of manage it, but that the eighty eight isn't exactly prime real estate for us. Let's let's look elsewhere. There might be something a bit more perfect. Maybe Arizona. So they got the thirty six. What else do you have? Maybe another second? No, 36 and the 68. That might work. Let me double check. Thirty-six and the sixty-eight. With the thirty-six, we can get pretty much anyone. Sixty-eight. Can't get that guy, but we can get him with the thirty-six. I mean, if we we're really wanting to go wild. In which case. What's his ETA? If he has good ETA, no, it's five years. It's not amazing. Basically, we're looking at, like, two medium elite goaltenders if I want to go that way. And then... I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, don't auto-draft. If only they wanted Keeling, man. I don't I don't know. For, a, for two seconds, it, it feels good about that. But a second and a third... I mean, I can grab something else for it, but maybe two. Okay, maybe get two thirds here. Those are those are both in good locations. 
where we can still draft. Do they want? They don't want Keeling either. Why does no one want Keeling? He's solid. Arizona would have too many goaltenders. Who's trash? All these guys. Uh, this guy's got one year left, though. This will go through. Don't even tell me it won't. What? Seriously? There, oh, whatever. Can't get two thirds. Who the hell cares? Not the best return for Keeling of all time, but like I said, what we will draft for him will be pretty good. Can even maybe go for one. If I got the two thirds, I would have definitely gone for someone else here, but. Doesn't make sense. We don't have the info. Oh, I didn't pin one of those top six guys, did I? I don't think I did. Otherwise, I would have seen him here. Where is he? Where is he? It's a sniper 60. That's the one we want. Yeah, the sniper 65. Oh, he's got grit. Oh, he's 19. That's why he's got three year ETA. Oh, okay, I missed that before. Still, still worth probably. It's also that guy, two way forward, way back here. Also 19, five year ETA, so less, less cool. Anyway, uh, who do we want here at 36? I don't know why I exited. <laughs> who do we want here at 36? We'll probably just grab a pin, like the 63 guy. It's obviously kind of off the board, but he's an 18 year old medium elite. The hell else you want? Probably. Yeah, I'm just gonna snag him here. That's value. So we already basically replaced Keeling's value in a way. And then up we go. We got the 68 next. In which we can grab another one of these pins. Now the question is we can get another goalie. We really don't need the goalies. I mean, yeah, they're great value. That's that's the plus side of them, but they're all kind of the same. That guy's even 19. So 94 is looking... T we can get him with our next pick, though. We have like an 80-something, I'm pretty sure. 88 or something like that. We can grab that with that. Or... Oh, wait, hold on. We still want to make sure we get the 110 and the 127. So which ones are those? We can still move up the other one with some junk. That won't be an issue. Just make sure we have one before that and still have the 128. So what's the one before that? This is the 96. Okay, so we want to... Why did, why did I think I had the 88? I think I was trying to trade for that, and then it didn't work. So we can go for the elite there. That's another defenseman. It's not the best thing. But those medium elites we're going to get right here. And then the other one, move that up. So if I want straight value, the goaltender makes sense. What is that? And the other guy's not even guaranteed to be a low elite, right? So, yeah. Oh, that's not him. Uh, but yeah, even, even so, he's not guaranteed to be a low elite. And I, I kind of have a feeling he won't be. Especially, well, with three-year ETA, it's close. But... I, pro I think I'm just going to play it safe here and just grab the value. It makes more sense to do that. This is to grab the value, so I'll do that. Boom. There we go. Let's... Yeah, see the other guys here. That looks like three-year ETA. Maybe it's four-year ETA, though. Maybe those are four-year, but... Let me sim a few more. Oh, wait. He's going to be way off, isn't he? Where was he? Projected. I forget. But yeah, all these guys are low top sixes and low top fours. He was 90-something, huh? Yeah, actually, yeah, he's 94. I don't know. Let's just go up to our next pick then at 96. We'll be able to see him there, or he'll last all the way to here, but probably. Yeah, so I'm pretty he's one of these guys, I think, so. Pretty sure he didn't go. Or I'm pretty sure he wasn't elite, I should say. There we go. So there's another elite goaltender if we really want, which we don't. We want to start snagging the medium elite dude bros. Here we go. Medium elite offense defenseman. Five year ETA, whatever. Again, value. Plus, he's an awesome steal. So, snag him, Fred Oliver. What does he look like? 49. Yeah. All right. Let's move up this next pick. Where I think it's at the very end. I think it's our own. Yeah, it is. So, we want to move it up a few. We could basically move it anywhere. Let's play it relatively safe and move it up to, say, here. Like, five picks above. Which will put us four picks above that guy's projection. Which should be a pretty good location. So we want to trade that in there, and then we can throw in pretty much anything else. I would like to hold my picks because there's some decent stuff late. Do I have any more junk? I think I gave it all away. Yeah, No, I didn't. That's right, because I didn't make that trade go through. 1962, blah, blah, blah. Grinder. Bodie. Playmaker. Less worth. There you go. 
This is a really good deal. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you say, buddy. All right, to the 123 we go. Please don't go earlier. Thank you. And it's a great way to stay in shape. There he is. And plus, his name is fuck. It's Michael Outlaw, and he's a grinder. It's... You're getting that player no matter what. And just the medium elite, it take, takes the cake. 48 overall, medium elite, right wing grinder. And he liked overload too, so he's like a, he's like a perfect third liner of the future. And he should get there. Uh, oh man, that's a pretty big gap. 160 here. What other pins do we have? I think I, pa I passed up on those. Uh, uh, yeah, we can grab these two guys. Passed up on some of those like snipers and whatnot, but it's not a big deal. I didn't really care too much. So I have at least two more picks I can grab those last two guys with. High fringe starter. Hmm. Nothing amazing here. By the looks of it. can go by potentials see if there's yeah those are the two guys we have pinned this guy's a grinder he's way back there so I don't have to grab him now but he's a guy to maybe keep an eye on just because he's 20 could be a low elite yeah what else are we gonna grab go way off the board for this guy come on top six do something cool do something really cool right there for being 20 oh wow okay cool thanks all right let's grab the pins now <laughs> There's also a starter there. Oh, hold on. 211, 226. I think I have to grab them right now, but I thought I had two more after this. I could be wrong. I don't think I, I might not. Maybe these are my last two, and I already. They're not my last two, but 123, 124. Isn't one of them 120? I can't get them both with those. I'd have to get one now. Yeah. So 123 and 124 we have. And. He's at 126 and can do that, but I have to grab this guy now. So, fine. Oh, what the f... That better be a goalie. It is, okay. He, that's a 19. He's He's got to be 19. There's no way, yeah. Alright, and... Fifth, mm, what? Oh, he was 19, but still, that's pretty decent. Oh, he's built terribly. <laughs> oh, well. Up to the 123. We don't even have to grab the... We have two picks in a row, so we don't even have to get him now. Let's see for a possible steal here. The goalie. Well. Another defenseman, 19. What's this guy? Defenseman, 19. Oh, no, no. He's a power forward, 19. He's confident. Could go for a goalie. It has been a good draft for goalies, but we already got a couple... Hmm. This guy's interesting. Four-year ETA, though. I don't think that's... Yeah, because this guy's most likely five-year ETA. Four-year ETA confirmed. He's most likely going to go down to, like, a low top six. Hmm. Or low top, yeah, low top four, whatever. Oh, no, 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 low top six. Eh, he could be either. Ah, eh, whatever. Let's grab the, uh, even this guy's not a guarantee to be anything. Uh, but he was a low elite. Boom. 53. And he was a grinder, not a power forward. <laughs> oh, the game loves me. You really love me. Another DFD on the left side. Fuck it. Let's see. No, yeah, I figured he'd go down to top six. Oh well, still pretty good draft, all things considered. I can't, I still can't believe Calgary passed on the franchise, but they did. And unfortunately, LA didn't get the second pick, and we could, well, we could have had them, but whatever. Still, I mean, it's a decent draft for us. Oh yeah, this is when our coaches all come off contract. <laughs> oh boy, so they want a coach on their con, or they want a cup on their contract here. Dufresne, Buckley, and Larock. Probably get them all back. But I'm not, I can't get them here because they're going to ask for too much or do the thing where they just don't want to accept anything. So we'll probably, I mean, there's no reason not to get those coaches back. I mean, 
we're used to it, we kind of built our team around that system. And especially if we're going to get rid of DeMeo, it makes the most sense. But, I mean, we can peruse around. Maybe there's a younger guy who does what Dufresne does. We'll see. Because Dufresne, as I recall, was already on the older side of things. Let's see. Or, that was our head coach, right, Dufresne? He's now, how old is he? Yeah, he's 63, but... Buckley is 61, LaRock 59, they're all around the same-ish age. They're all really good, though, to be fair. I mean, good teaching, good everything. I love Dufresne. Still have our uh, goalie coach, dude, for a couple more years. See, in DeBoer, three years. So you'd probably want to hold on to him, if I can. I could, you know, I could look around. We have to wait till the... Uh, Free agency to get them all back anyway, so I could look around, but I'll remember those names. All right, so Panarin's going to be off contract. We're going to let him go. We appreciate the cup win, but yeah, bye-bye. Lunkfist still doesn't want to come back. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, that's better. Get that immediately. Uh, Malkin doesn't Damn it. Neither Lunkfist or Malkin want to come back. That sucks. Kampf might be done as our depth guy. But we have a guy like Carlberg who can pretty much do what he did. I'm kind of tempted to start using Carlberg as depth now. Even though he can't really play center. Yeah, you, you, you always kind of want someone who could also play center as your depth guy. But he's really our best bet here. Is Carlberg. Can we get him on a... Well, we'll sign him. Maybe we look for a depth guy in free agency. Keep you around. Let's actually look for entry levels. Teaming in. Well. well. That's right. That's that power forward. Hey, develop. he's developing pretty well, at least. So, that's good. Graves not looking amazing, but we'll hold on to him. I'd like to hold on to him for multiple years. Ooh. Yeah. God, and neighbors. I'm looking for any other entries here. Lysak doesn't want to come back. That's an entry. I think he's... A, what is he? It's this guy. Yeah, he's a grinder. That's right. And he's actually growing okay. I want to hold on to him. Samsonov can probably give up on. Eves, you want to sign this guy. So that's what? Three forwards coming in now? Entries? Or no, no, no. Two. Two coming in. Three coming in. All right, so we can let go of a few guys here. Yep. All right, so Lysak's one of them. He's not going to pan out, even though he's a grinder and awesome and stuff. Neither does Samsonov, so get rid of Samsonov. Get rid of Lysak. He doesn't want to come back anyway. Hold on to Vorobyov, even though he's likely not going anywhere. And I can hold on to pretty much everyone else. Sure, a couple years for you. We did have a lot of depth guys, but it's better to have that than not enough. I'm going to hold on to Rassanen as well. Yeah, I'll give him two years. This is his last little two-year stint. But I'll hold on to Bittner and McShane as well. Bittner, no, no, no. You're a one-year guy now. You are a one-year guy. McShane, maybe if he wants to. Yeah. That'll be it for that. Um, Damn it, Prokorkin. He's going to be our... I want him to be my backup, so... I'll overpay him to come back, then we hopefully can extend him. But I definitely want him back. I can even hold on to this guy now, because we have no one else coming in that we want to sign. So I can even hold on to this guy, do Durney and Darth Vader. Or we could also look for someone in free agency with potential, but why do that when you kind of have all that? I'll just hold on to both these guys for a year. I, I'll check I'll check free agency anyway to see if there's, you know, nope, one year. All right, let's advance a day here, clean some of this up. Scouts first. We've had a great scouting team. Bittner back. Uh, Darth Vader rejected. Uh, all right. Looks like everyone else is accepting, so it's just Darth Vader right now. I'm wondering about some of those other guys, Bittner and whatnot, but all, they all seem to be accepting. Even Prokork and good. 
Yep, so it's just Darth Vader who didn't accept. What a dick. It's because I changed his years. I'll bump him up to like 900 thou. Even though he's AHL. He won't be making that. Yeah, those guys I kind of don't want to lose either. Lunkfist wasn't here. This thing, Lunkfist wasn't the best. But the question is, who else, who the hell else we have, right? We're likely gonna move to Mayo. I think that stat growth, and then he'll drop. And he doesn't, you know, chemistry wise, it's not great, right? He's really not good. It's all about Ludman. And we want to start getting him in, into, you know, want to get him in the top four now. And then eventually into that top two to replace Merkley, who is additionally on his last year. But, hmm, he's done really good. You almost want to let him do top four at when uh, Ludman supplants him. But he's kind of the same as DeMeo. DeMeo, yeah. Merkley and DeMeo kind of got the same scheme fit. So that's a decision to make. Do you actually want to hold on to Mayo, play him top four, where, you know, you can get at least a plus one out of him? Who, you know, who else are you going to... Even with Merkley there, it's only a plus one. But Merkley performs like a beast in the sim. However, that was on the top two pairing, right? So those are decisions that we're going to have to make. Anyway, we, we got Lapalainen still. Shillington's AHL. Um... We're going to have, so, you know, someone's going to have to move out, essentially, because they're all really good. I'll see what Merkley wants as an extension if he doesn't, you know, but also I, I need to see if DeMeo's going to jump. Yeah, if maybe DeMeo can buy time on the top two for Ludeman, and Ludeman can play that top four, but... Moving out Merkley. It's tough to do, man. He's done so friggin' well here. I mean, look, it's he's really like, I just wanted Norris too, you know? Anyway, um Lapalinen is, is great. I'm I'm really excited. Hopefully I'll be able to extend him. He he fits so well. I mean, look at the chemistry. He's he's amazing. And even when he starts declining, I'll use him as depth probably. Uh anyway, Malkin and Lungfist, neither wants to come back. Which is unfortunately unfortunate. Cause I like them both. I liked Malkin for depth. We could use Harikala as depth, technically. But I do want Lunkfist back. The reason I liked Malkin as depth is because he had those crazy stats where he could kind of play anywhere. Let me see if I, I can afford them both. For sure. Oh my god. Okay, that's more manageable, especially for a depth deal. We can do that. Maybe we move on from Lungfist, play this guy's spot fill, but I, I do really, really like Lungfist. That's pretty shit, though, man. If I did that, I still have money for a sniper. I still have money for the sniper, but... It's pretty expensive. <laughs> I do really like him, though. I'm not gonna lie, I do really like him. Some expensive top six in depth, but I'm going for it. Because him and Lapalainen together is a really, really good top six. I really like that. He's unhappy because he played depth last year. But now we can go back to Malkin depth and Lungfist up. And then we likely move someone here. Alrighty. Um, for HL, we got Shillington. And now Harikala, Perns, Graves, Rassinen, Backstrom, Cyphers. There's your seven. And uh, Rassinen can be depth. Yes, indeed. Goalies, Prokorkin as the new backup to Nachushkin. Got all that. And we're just we're missing the top six sniper, essentially. Yep. Mm, looks like LeBanc's gonna... Don't, don't decline, please. <laughs> they might. Uh, I did get him to pro probably longer than people would have liked to see, but I would figured for the role that they're in, they should at least maintain it. Plus, I they just seem to do really well. Now, we won the cup. They didn't do exceptionally well in the playoffs, but I think for the shutdown-wise, having that third line like the way it is is pretty good. Valeno's amazing. Um, but yeah, so for depth, we kind of need a new depth guy. Larson kind of seems to be stagnating here. Could, could start integrating Coe. 
people have been calling for him. I do want to st- <laughs> still wait, you know, still want to get those grinders in. That's taken way, way longer than I thought it would. But it is what it is. So, yeah, really, we only need that sniper. We'll make those decisions, I guess, when when we turn the corner here. Let's advance today and make sure we can get back Lunkfist and Malkin. If Lunkfist wants much more than that, I don't know if I can even get him. Yeah, if he wants... Okay, no, he doesn't. Good. I was If he wanted more than 4 mil, I'd be like, nope, bye. I would just look for someone else. So we got 12 mil to work with for free agency, which could, which should be able to get us, at least for a year, a, uh, a sniper that we need, which is hopefully going to be Gaudreau. He, he's he's going to be a free agent. That's who we're going to pursue. We're coming off a of Stanley Cup. There's no reason he shouldn't want to sign with us. His age, his skill set, he should fit good, well enough into that second line. Same way that Panarin did, most likely. Maybe there's some. Maybe there's a better fit. We'll see, but I don't think there will be. All right, and I think that's everything. Yep, done and done. Okay, so there we go. We are also have to worry about our coaches, which reminds me. Let me just... Uh, those names, Dufresne, LaRock, and Buckley. <laughs> I'm just going to take a picture of that so I know. But we'll, we'll peruse around and see if there's anything better. But why change up the cup winners? All right. Up the free agency we go. Yeah, 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 I know. They won't sign here because it's broken. All right, there we are on free agency. Come on, Gaudreau. Be here. He should. I don't think he got an extension. Oh, shit. Of course, he's not here now. No, he is. Okay, good. It just wasn't, yeah, it wasn't sorted by. So there he is. He wants two years. We're going to probably just give him one. He will decline, just like Panarin did. I don't want to lock him in for two years at age 36. But we could easily afford him. It does go up quite a bit. So one by 10, most likely. That's okay with what he brings to the table. He'll fit into that second line, a one by 10 deal for him. Uh, there's really no one else. There's that Ola Klingberg guy, huh? That's that weird guy. I don't like him. Yeah, he's built really poorly. And he wants a lot of money. But Goodrow's the guy to grab. There's no other real sniper up here. He's really the only sniper. Yeah, so Goodrow's the guy we move for. Another one-year deal. Need him to lock in that second line. While we wait for young guys or better trade options, etc. So forth. I will check out, as I said, possible potential goaltenders. But there's a starter. That's not really anything special. Oh, excuse me, anything special. This guy's not bad. Starter potential, medium starter, 2170 overall. You could snag him and play him as the backup and sit one of those other guys if you really wanted to. How necessary is that? I mean, you know, maybe a future backup. If Prokorkin's already 28, right? So you think five years this guy will be entering his prime, maybe he'll be entering a backup. I always, I always am planning. For the future, I'm always getting that in. Even if you know this might not be recorded future, I always like to treat it as that for, um, just for parody. So you're not like, oh, this is a we're getting closing in on the end of the series. Now we can just start doing crazy stuff. No, no, no. Try to tr try to keep it 100. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. All right, so there's that. Um, I will check out possible extensions because I said I was going to do that. What is Merkley after? This is a big one. Oh boy. So Merkley probably move him. Yeah, I mean that that might change. That'll probably change. But now that you're looking at it, if De, this you know, and if DeMeo, he didn't have a tremendous year, but I think he 48 points with where he was playing. That's probably enough for stat growth. So I think he'll actually reset. I think it's probably best to wait until season starts for those guys. Well, at least for Merkley, and then we can make that decision. Joe Valeno, I want to extend him. Is I'll have to wait on that too. He had, he didn't. Yeah, that's too much. Unfortunately, I want him really, really badly, but that's unfortunately too much to to commit right now. We do have plenty of cash, and we got Lungfist to a higher deal. Malkin, we'll save a bit of money on him. We switch him back to depth, but. Still, yeah, Merkley, that's too much. We shall see if it changes. And if it doesn't, maybe you trade him and give it to DeMeo. Or 
Maybe you risk stunting one of these. Uh, it's, it's hard to want to risk stunting those younger guys. Ludman needs, we, we also, yeah, what we need to see is if DeMeo holds that, if Ludman jumps, and if maybe Merkley changes his mind, Valeno changes his mind. So the best, the best thing to do, I think, right now is wait. Because these are only, unfortunately, lap of line, and right now it doesn't want an extension. That sucks because I really like him. We can have him as a solid top six guy. So, yeah, really, uh, we'll wait. We're uh, probably wait for extensions here. No reason to mm, go for any of those, really. All right, but let me know what you think about my uh, free agency plan, signing Goodrow for like a 1 by 10 deal. And if he sustains, we can, you know, extend him on beyond that. We're a winning team. We just won the cup. We want to try to defend that title. Maybe go for a second one. Goodrow's a guy who I think could fill the role that Panarin did to great effect. So let me know what you guys think about that. Remember to hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.